Hey guys, it's Shantron! Hello everyone, my name is uh, Quentin, and today I'm going to be uh, teaching you how to play uh, the uh, most delicious pair of titties. Her name is Widowmaker. Anyway! Let's, let's get right into it and grapple absolutely nowhere. So, what you want to do, what you want to do, you want to choose your crosshair. There's a bunch of different crosshairs. Uh, for color, I recommend green because it sticks out the most against, like, every background. I personally use the normal long crosshairs. So you can use dot or short crosshairs. That's ultimately your preference. But I like, I like the uh, default. So, what you want to do, what you want to do, you want to... Just her head. Just want to keep her head. Simple as that. That's it. That's all you need to do as Widowmaker. So, and you never want to move across here. You want to keep it in one place. One place the whole time. Right? You just wait. Oh man. You missed your opportunity. You wait. You wait. You just... Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, you got your opportunity. As soon as you get a kill, as soon as you get a kill, you, you spray, you spray, you place a few things down, and, and you just teabag, you teabag, and then that's it, that's it, you're done playing Widowmaker. No, but for real, but for real, when you're practicing Widowmaker, I'm gonna show you. I recommend a pretty low sensitivity. My DPI, my DPI is at like 600, and my sensitivity is at 8. Right? That might sound super low, but I play with arm, and I recommend aiming and playing mo movement with arm rather than with wrist, right? So what do you want to do? Want to do right for practice for tracking? You just want to make sure it stays on their head. Right. That's just that's just basic practice. Right. Move around. Move around up around the uh, zero meter mark in a circle. You just want to stay on their head. Stay on their head. Right. Of course, the goal with Widow is to get those juicy headshots. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of Widow. There's two types of um, aiming. There's a uh, tracking, which We'll wait for this guy to come up. This is tracking, right? Where you, where you follow their head. And flicking, where like, you see him here, him there. So you're aiming over here, and you want to... Well, I'm not very good at flicking, so you want to do that. Don't do that. I'm not the best at Widow. But pretty much, you want to be able to either track, or flick, or do a combination of the two. As that is how you will do the things. Right, our ultimate. I don't care much for our ultimate, but it is pretty darn good. It gives you info, and your entire team info, as no to where the enemies are. We all know that the most important thing when no. playing Widow is play peekaboo with the enemy Widow. And if you can't kill their Widow, then you keep doing it until you do. And then you never switch off. That was a bad shot. My bad. Flick. You just want to practice your flicking as Widow, like I do. Like that. that was a headshot. You can't kill him. You can practice charging it up. Like, like I said, not the best. I'm not the best. So, a few tidbits as well. Of course, aim for the head. Like I've, like I've said about a million times now. And tra tracking. Aiming, aiming of course, is probably the hardest thing as well. Because that is what her entire kit is built around. Clicking and tracking. Now, we're going to go with like the more tidbit things. Like, um... Um, never do what I did at the beginning. The whole, uh... Wait for them to walk in your crosshair, because there's a good chance, unless they're bots, that they will not walk into your crosshair, because most people don't walk like that. Double now, I personally, personally nice. prefer Widow on attack, Double but that's how you make people angry. But if you don't get a pick pretty early, I'd recommend switching on, because if you're not getting fixed as Widow, they're not, they're not getting Double. the uh, value out of her character. and. Each character has a certain value that you need to be getting. And for Widow, it's the kill. Now, now we're going to talk about um, her Venom Mine placement. Now, say you're sniping up here, right? And you know there's a flank behind you. You want to place it, like, here. Or there. Or there. Or maybe even there. I wouldn't... Uh, the, the farther away, the better. Because it gives you more chance to... Read yourself for when someone's coming, right? They trigger it, and you're like, oh, they're coming. Or they destroy it, and they're like, and you're like, oh, they're coming. Now, you have choices, right? You can leave, or you can fight. Now, if it's a tracer, and she's not very good, and she's just running in a straight line at you, just, just kill her. Like, 
Like this is an amazing thing for whatever it's called a left click, and it, it can uh, delete people. Right. Right. The, of course, the closer that you place it, the less time they have to find a flank to go around it, but also the less time they have to react. So that's just based on your own judgment. Now, for your grapple hook, there's more than one way to use the grapple hook. In case you didn't know, you can use it offensively or defensively. Now, here's a and like a hybrid of the two, right? Say, say this is the defensive way. Someone's coming. Someone's coming. Right? They activated. They activated your bit of money. You're like, oh no, and you like get away, and you gotta get away, and then, well, you got away, right? Now, you you might have just saw the thing that I went flying after I did the grapple, right? Instead of just going straight, so you can grapple like that. And you go straight up. But if you press space or whatever you have your jump button button down to, before your grapple reaches its destination, you'll go flying. And that's how people that's how you see people get those like midair mid -air shots like right. it also lets you cover more distance. Um now this is something I do coming out of spawn as a widow. A lot. Right. So you just grapple the gun or something. And then you hold down space and you'll get a hop and you'll just get like a few extra meters of distance that you've covered. And it's it's pretty great. No one um, can hide. From now that I should use the defensive thing right? for the offensive, let's say for it to come off. Double So say say that um you know there's an enemy right there. He's about to respawn. There he is, there he is, right? You know there's an enemy right there, and you're up here. You want to get him. Use it offensively. Get up in his face. I missed that shot next time. But get up in his face. Surprise him. He won't He won't be expecting it. Uh, see, so, anyways, it's harder to hit. Now, this is going to sound weird, but it's, it's harder to hit people that don't know you're there. The uh, reason for that is uh, because, well, they're going to run them, right? Right. If if they know you're there, they're going to be like crouching, crouch spamming. And if they know you're there, they're going to be like trying to strike back and forth. But like if they don't know you're there, they're going to be like saying so, or they'll just all of a sudden smooth. And it's a lot harder to like, oh, where are they going to go? You don't know. Well, that was the offensive part. Now, the hybrid, I guess, could be thought of as offensively, but I I think of it as a hybrid because it can be used as just defensive and offensively. So you see this guy. Right. He came in. He's like, I'm like, oh no, oh no. He dropped down. He might drop down after you. And then you're like, oh. And then you can run away from him. Go to sleep. And he's like down there. And then it's too late. You're gone. Or if it's like a diva and they also drop down or something. That's the def defensive part of it. Or say you drop down and it's some and then, they, and then you just. That's the hybrid. Okay. And so you can use it offensively or defensively. That's about all there is to it. Um, don't try to. Don't try to 1v1 soldiers, because that's silly. Don't be silly. They're gonna do a lot more damage than yours, unless you're scoped. Loody-doo. Be-da-da. Bye.